Hey, what is up guys? We're back with the 2D platformer game and this episode we're gonna switch things a little bit. So, uh, in the last few episodes we only worked on our character and the movement. This time we're going to work on other objects such as collectible, uh, which are going to be part, a little part of our character script as well. So, um, yeah, we're just simply going to add some collectible to the game and we're going to start right now by adding another object to our game and this one is going to be a simple sphere for now, of course we can change it for a 3D model later on but this is going to be our coin or some kind of score object that um, say increments the score whenever you pick it up so here is our sphere, we're going to name it say coin and we are uh, also going to take it, move it to the prefab folder. So now we can spawn it at any time and as you can see it's it's over here just next to our um, player. Now we're going to put a coin in our game, let's modify the scale a little bit, make it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and we are going to move it say over here and add another one so I'll duplicate it and maybe move it somewhere over there and also move the player below. Okay, now what we need to do is, uh, well let's just run this so you can have a look at what it does. So right now the sphere or the coins they have collisions so I can't, I can't, well <laughs> I can't really pick them up right now but as you can see I can get stuck right on top of them which is not something we want. This is not a behavior we want. We want to be able to whenever we enter collision with it uh, they disappear, so they pretty much die and we give uh, the player a score. Okay, so there's two ways to go about this. What you might be thinking is, oh, we just had a script to the coin and the coin is going to say, okay, if somebody, if somebody enters collision with me, then uh, destroy and increment the score. But that's not the way we're going to tackle it. We're going to tackle it by using the player. So the player is going to enter collision with stuff and then stuff is going to tell the player okay so I am a wall or I am a coin or I am a boost or some kind of object so the player is going to be the one doing all the collision work and it's going to say yeah okay I'm entering collision with a coin so destroy the object I just entered collision with and give me some score okay to do that we're going to reuse the same function we had before in the uh, player script so right below that at the very bottom of our script we had the uncontroller collider hit which pretty much um, we use for a wall jump right now but we're also going to use it for collectible so collect the balls and the way we're going to use it is we are going to make a switch case so let's write switch and in between the parentheses we're going to say it dot say uh, game object dot tag now we open up the switch and we start writing some cases like this break and also that's not right a default it's not going to be useful for now so what happens now is uh, this is a switch statement when what we write inside of these parentheses are going to be the uh, the case we're going to test so if this inside of this value this is a string I believe yeah public string so this string over here if this string is equal to what we put in here then we're going to run the code uh, inside this case. If it's not inside this case, if it's not this very string, then we're gonna be testing say another string or another string and then if it's not any of those strings then we're gonna run default which is going to be nothing. So default break just like this. Okay so let's change this first case for coin and when we enter collision with the coin we're gonna say destroy hit dot game object again I'm telling you this one over here this is a reference to what our uh, player just entered collision with now down here we check okay uh, the tag of that very object we just entered collision with is it coin if yes go ahead and destroy the coin okay let's go ahead and test this in game it is not going to work yet and the reason is the coin doesn't even know it's a coin yet because it's not wearing the coin tag. If you press on any of your coins, so let's say I'm going to choose this one, and you go up here right below its name, 
it says tag and it's uh, currently untagged. We're going to go ahead and add a new tag, press on the plus sign, and we're going to call this coin. Go back on your coin, now you can choose it from the drop down list. Also hit apply so every single coin in your game now has this very tag. Now what's going to happen is every single time we enter collision with this very object, this very sphere collider, it's going to check its game object up here and it's going to say, okay, is my tag coin? If yes, then destroy my game object. Okay, let's test this out. Press play. We're moving and entering collision with coin. And as you can see, it destroyed the coin. Oh, let's try this with the one up here. And as you can see, it destroyed it as well. So that's a very, very beginning for our collectible system. But at least we have something that works now. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this or if you learned something, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.